Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Jojo and and Shrutsfall. Are you ready to cry? Last time Hopefully was. Hopefully not. We don't know. We don't know if it'll be. Is it a cry song? I don't think it is because I did a poll on Instagram asking people what uh-huh. we should get to from Nayab next. This mm-hmm. was the most recommended, and I specified specifically asked uh, a song that wouldn't make us cry. So I'm hoping people were nice about it and actually. Yeah, I don't trust that. Huh? Everybody's naughty like that. I don't know. They'll just like saying it for just to like you know because they wanted a reaction. Just can't let me lose it. I will start crying and all. If so, yeah, that happens, know. somebody gonna get hurt <laughs> real bad. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, this is track four. Uh, I think at the end of um, Mena, we had said that you know they they have announced that videos are coming. If they could tell us, see them what says it. No mistake. If you could tell us which videos are coming, then we will not listen to those tracks, and we'll complete yeah. the album offline and re- and put out a review of it. Um, and then we can wait for the other videos to come out as and when. But for now, we wanted to not like keep the album away for too long, so we are getting to this track. Chalo, it's recommended by you guys the most, and let's do it. It's called Anari Track Four. All right, ready? Ready. Come on. One, two, three, play. someone's real story like did it happen to any of them like any idea if in messages or anything we've got to know or is this no it's not a real story i think the reason i'm asking is because somewhere it gives you solace 
you know, after listening to such a song, knowing that it is not real because it felt so real. You know, in their storytelling, the way they build it up and build it up and build it up and put those perfect elements which kind of are so heavily relatable to each and every one because as children, that's all we do, right? Yahi ek cycle hai. You know, just cycle ko repeat kiye ja rahe the. And with every repetition, that kept going deeper and deeper within the song. And then to, you know, all the things that you find bad and all the things where you think this is bad, that is bad, all that, or you feel like you're not making your parents proud or, you know, and them finding for, and, and it's just over. I see you. See them up? Says on the beach. I see you. I see what you're doing. Guys. <laughs> wow. Listen, they've cracked it. Huh? I have to say, they've cracked the whole thing of uh, uh, going from beginning very like external layer and not knowing when they go through that external layer and start affecting you through within the music. It's three minutes, 18 seconds. Kahai time. External ka, utne mein build up bhi karne ka, utne mein, you know, not realizing when they've kind of sneaked into and then they have followed the bomb. It is just, you know, um, I don't think enough gets talked about uh, the father son relationships and yeah. the, the, the uh, towering male figure in your life from the day you're born. They're doing it again. I have to stop. So, okay. This was like, um, this was very, very important a song for that reason, because, um, and I see this too much, um, that the guys um, and their dads have a very strained relationship. You know, I've seen it in cousins. I've seen it in friends. I've seen it, not strained, but just formal. You know, if I had to put it more softly. Um, and a lot of times, um, um, there's there's a lot of emphasis given to the tough things that the, our dads will teach us, especially if you're boys, you know, how to be tough in the world, how to become a man and how to do it all, um, which is very um, exactly how it's happening here. There are very few dads who actually um, uh, are good examples of, uh, of an emotional human, you know, a human that is that is a normal human who has all the emotions, who's not just constantly uh, displaying an exterior front that is strong and tough and stuff, right? So um, so anyway, that all aside, the, the father-son relationship is a very um, unexplored territory in terms of music, uh, especially, and more so in hip-hop, because a lot of hip-hop is just about that pseudo -ma macho-ness and, you know, um, being tough and hard, hard and all of that yeah and just being a hard londa and whatnot right uh in this uh, because the first verse is through a boy's perspective when he's growing up and he's talking to his dad or mom um and he it's very like his point of view of what i feel like i'm like ghar ka na ghat ka or main ya, ya. Uh, i'm not even good enough for my parents i'm not good enough for my teachers i'm just whatever whatever and then how my mindset becomes rebellious because of that or not or you know those kind of thoughts and then the second verse so beautifully then um talked about the father's angle which very rarely has have i heard it i don't think i've ever heard it in a dhz song so and not so, in this way not, not in this way yeah, yeah because you know gali and abuse and like all that and then like marvi pad rahi hai sab kuch ho raha and then what the person is thinking yeah and a very honest portrayal of it yeah that yeah like i've read i've read like four words and things like that especially on father's day and especially on like yeah. you know um random like four words like you have for mothers you have for fathers um uh, but in a song and in, in such a beautiful storytelling manner where he's come back and said um, this is why I do this, my son, because of these, these, these reasons. Um, and as kids, because we are so young, we don't even realize who our parents really are as humans. Um, yeah. yeah, the song really humanized, especially that bit. That when it's such a real emotion, na, that, that, that of looking at your friend's child come first in class and feeling bad over it. Upar is saying it, but feeling bad over it and thinking, why couldn't he do good? And why was he? And then getting a call, priorities suddenly shift. Yeah. All that your son is no more. Then those things don't matter. Yeah. 
because I think, you know it's such a dhakka yeah and the thing is because he's saying that mere jo sapne pure nahi hue i want to see you fulfilling them is such a common theme across the board right in almost every family and then it takes years to realize that my child was his own person you know yeah and all i had to do I don't know why I get like so emotional, but I'm not even a parent. <laughs> but it's just, it's just sad because so much, um, so much time gets wasted before these lessons are learned, right? Yeah. And it takes great tragedy for them to eventually hit us. So, so anyway, the song like with that accident happening like really jolts you as a listener, and it definitely would jolt anyone. if it happened in their life god forbid touch wood but um the message of the song is what is so important that as kids let's understand our parents better because they always they may appear strict and they may appear to be forcing us into things we don't want to do let's talk to them and see what their reasons are yes maybe their dreams were unfulfilled and maybe you know they they want this for us but um let's all communicate with each other without having resentment growing within us over time you know on and on because that baggage builds up so much um and then by the time you're much older and you realize why your parents did that you are a parent yourself and you're dealing with the same situation which is why a lot of our parents are like jab tum tumhare bacche honge na tab pata chalega why we are you know like yeah. don't we all yeah. hear that so yeah. anyway and then and then the guy the the sorry the dad's somewhere, perspective sorry just hmm. to add to that just one yeah. line uh, yeah. it's also very important to realize that your parents all of our parents at some point were children when they had us you know yeah, they, children, they did their they best very young, with what they knew in the 20s and now things are changing where people are choosing to have children when they are more mature so they understand better and therefore but imagine when you're going through all that and all those responsibilities and everything when you're in your early 20s so you're bound to like crack somewhere but as as children we can never look at our parents as also being kids you know yeah. till comes a point when you're like ek minute yaar jab wo meri umar ke the i was probably 5 years old you know yeah. so it it makes you rethink yeah. the entire thing yeah. yeah and i was also thinking about this like our parents probably like they had us when they were in their 20s right and imagine they had lived whatever 25 years of their life before that they had their own like dreams and they had their own like personalities yeah. which was not mummy or daddy it was a uh, uh, like my mom was an athletic person she was a sports person her personality was like a oh, she's a rock star i mean still is yeah. but you know that whole human being that was her before she became a mother yeah. is is someone i would love to get to know you know i'm just yeah. saying and 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 that i feel as children we just completely discount for us our parents became uh, came on the planet when they became our parents you know like we don't know of their <laughs> life before us so yeah. so if we dug into that a bit more we would probably bond with them on a different level and um, and then the dad's part where he's saying all these things and then all and you know hats off to says for the way he's built the soundscape of this track it it was like it was like a radio play you know it was yeah. um it w- there was not one element that was off in creating the scene whether it was the first part the second part or the accident or the phone call or every layer that says has put into the mastering of this track has taken it to another emotional plane like a realistic plane yeah no wonder we are feeling it like you know it, my it heart was in my throat yeah when that phone call came and all the sounds after that that were, that were oh, man so i think this is just a very important track for whoever hears it and if it touches you or hits you to just like take a few minutes and think about what it's trying to tell you um and you know i think once in in our i think was a chand par where we were just like go and give your parents like a nod hug nahi dena hai to nod hi dena i think iske baad hug hi de do please go and hug them and talk to them ask them who they are as people and you know and then tell them who you are because i think parents also have to at some point they also have that epiphany or sometimes they they never do that hey i've given birth to this human who is his own person with his own talents and passions and things that will um 
that will drive this human and they needn't be the dreams i had you know kabhi kabhi hota hai ki doctor ka beta doctor banna jata hai because he's genuinely interested in it but sometimes he wants to be an artist so it's okay you know whatever is you have to figure out what motivates this this new human that's come into the world anyway very important song father son relationships very important subject to to Is reach into it was very crazy and said that it will not be emotional i know you only people i'm not like it's a good one yeah rola the aap se nonsense uh but i controlled better this type i'll say uh guys this album uh again uh all i i see i see and i hear all of you um we do want to cover it all but like i said bahut lambi hai so we're going to listen to all the tracks that will not have videos offline and do a review um i just didn't want to like wait for that so that's why we got to one track but uh if anyone from the nayab team is listening and can just you know like side me just drop me one secret message and tell me i won't let anyone know <laughs> just tell me which videos are coming so there <laughs> you know we'll wait for those okay chalo on that note um thank you for recommending this one and we'll see you in the next nayab reaction or the album review we don't know yet uh dm me on instagram there if you have any recommendations miss mola is there that's how you support the channel and we'll see you in the next one the long pause